Alright, so we have Joyce Rudolph, actress known for her role as Trixie Norton on The Honeymooners, dies at age 99. Alright, so let's get a few cards out. Let's see what's going on. Alrighty. We have faux. We have a competition comparison. The other side of the fence. An embrace of the same joy. Not thought of. We have ten of wands. Burden or oppression. We have pleasure seekers. We have desire. Um, anxiety, longing, craving, wishful thinking, wishing f or yearning for something that is out of your control if you wish hard enough, though you can manifest what it is that you're, you desire if it is in your greatest good or for, for all the good. Um, we have old woman. We have maybe something from the past to incorporate into your life. Wise decisions. Alternatively, unyielding way to um, uh, to a way of thinking, fear of aging, running out of time. We have the star here. We have hope, love, and trust. Then we have judgment. We have evaluation and the right choice. So she probably, when she passed was not ready to go. <laughs> I wouldn't be ready to go either. I'm like, I haven't packed my bags. I, I need to do that first. But, like, I always loved watching The Honeymooners as a kid. I I was basically raised by my grandfather. And he liked watching, like, The Honeymooners and a lot of the um, different shows that were relatively recreated as, like, an Animaniacs like Pinky and the Brain episode, I think the honeymooners were on there. Um, but yeah, there was there was a lot of like really old shows I got to watch. Um, a lot of Marilyn Monroe, Aubrey Hepburn, stuff like that with my grandfather. So the honeymooners were like right there with it, um, and I I just thought it was like the greatest show. Because I was watching it with my grandfather, who was my father figure when I was younger. So, <laughs> a lot of that. A lot of um, war movies. A lot of, like, golden age movies, which I thought were brilliant. That's probably why I love movies now. I just <laughs> I just think it's, like, an amazing um, thing to go to the movies and get your popcorn snack and, like, watch something that somebody created for probably, like, the whole year or whatever. But, yeah, I just love movies. So, The Honeymooners, big thing um, in my childhood. And knowing that she wasn't ready to go, she had a lot to do. That's really cute. Um, I just think when you, you make an impression or you've touched a lot of people in your business, you're never ready to go, you know what I mean? Um, so, let's see, with these cards, we have Journey of spiritual growth and self-improvement we have the desire for change we have be potent in business we have encouragement and support we have connect with your inner self we have look ahead we have look with intentions focus on the source um, keep it low we have living your worth gratitude and appreciation we have miracles, thoughts, wonders, happiness, uh, preparation, spreading your wings. We have lightness of being. We have dis uh, discernment. We have perception. We have true colors. We have shine. We have um, transformation. We have anticipation. We have abundance. We have new beginnings. We have destiny. And we have intuition. Okay, um, you're not required to set yourself on fire to warm other people. Um, love like people are, aren't complete assholes. I always stutter over those words. 
but there's there's a lot of people that will just take advantage of you if you like you know your lightness of being is you know intimidating their demons or something um we have rise above um your fuck headedness and then we have letter we have unfazed we have congratulations we have inquiry we have con uh, chorolo chronological order we have spring we have adjust your course using your input from your surroundings and be able to orbit um, around any blocks um, we have doubting your abilities confirms a social norm ignore your instincts listen to others exceptions so doing that it's kind of like you're limiting yourself in a boundary and since she was on the honeymooners she was basically like what a housewife that was limited to what she could do as a woman so me being a feminist I believe I can do whatever the hell I want whenever I want but in a Kind of traditional atmosphere would be very different than what I think. So, you know, just contain yourself in one place. Being a feminist means that you know what exactly is expected, but at the same time, you push the boundaries of realistic expectations to do your own thing. As well as, you know, you're respectful to the masculine energies because you yourself have mas masculine energies too. I'm not against that. I'm just, I'm feminine, but at the same time, if I have to do something out of survival or need, I'm going to do that. Um, that's how I feel. I've been a survivalist my entire life for whatever reason. So, we have, I have mastered the art of success, stability, tenaciousness, sometimes a workaholic, redefining the ethics um, commitment to the path that you're on respect and value the items in your change so it's a very different energy from what I'm usually on but yeah she's very she's okay with knowing her boundaries you know but she's also okay with being able to work you know, in an industry that a lot of women weren't working at the time. She she was willing to take any role to put herself out there. Um, so, an experience, the joy of loving connection. We have craft a legacy, ultimate um, contentness, create a long-lasting bonds with those that you call family. Um... I am lavished by the good things in my life and declare um, my intuition attracting good fortune, celebration free of guilt and regret. Seeing a project to completion, we have feeling overwhelmed, doing busy work instead of emulating the project. We have... A situations immaturity we have slow down balance yourself and exercise your body we have I lead by example set boundaries of, and follow the rules we have believe in the concrete world around you we have focus on actions and results hold your ground we have holding on to the past not being able to move forward lack of confidence leading to hesitation and so there could be some hesitation there for a lot of people actually um know and seek the change you want to be in the world we have beam your light we have i give my wealth of life to the world um we have positive energy we have i carry the burdens of my life to lighten the load for somebody else um there's some no results here. Um, we have constantly taking action. We have 
um, engaging in manipulative behavior. I have more than enough things to worry about. Uh, I know that radical transformation is being required at a rapid setting. Unsettling change, surrender of those who need me. You have reap what you sow and choose which path you need to walk on. So yeah, she keeps reinstating that she had to make some difficult choices in order to be in that spotlight. Okay, feeling restrained, acting rashly. We have broken wishbone with wish will not be granted. So that's the little weird one. I don't know. It, it was put in there when I was channeling. Um, I sometimes write down things that just come to mind, you know. We have peace and harmony. We have muddled, unclear thinking. We have deep friendship with somebody of the same sex. We have happiness. We have great passion stepping into a new experience. We have success assured with good plans and hard work. We have take care or there will, will be a loss of material wealth. Uh, we have knowledge here. We have a white orb that illustrates learning and shared experience of creation. We have an apple. We have a ocean and we have a skull. We have a sword, we have a thorn bush, we have pierced skin. We have a cane, we have the rising sun, we have a white dove. We have wine, a torch, and a bleeding eye or a camera that's on. We have scales, rising smoke, a gavel, a blazer, a stallion, a tongue of language, I guess. We have a wheel within a wheel. We have a child and a spiral graph. We have a red orb that contains in a boundary. Um, close to the unworthy. We have punishment. We have bravery. And we have unwillingness to change. And we also have a yellow orb that brings a balance to the universe. We have art, we have health, we have community. We have a shield, a ring, a blessing hand. We have a prism with many colors of the universe. We have earth, we have the bodies, we have a home. We have a gray orb that breaks the surface of your subconscious. We have birth, we have um, intuition, and we have the subconscious. Then we have a feather, a chair, a person kneeling. We have a snowflake, a seed, a pine tree, a fountain, a cup, and an arrow, like a compass. Um, that's interesting. All right, and then we have a uh, shine your light. We have love is what sets you free. You're married to your own soul. We have I am peace. When my mind is clear, the way is clear. We have, I am an internal flame, and each day my light grows brightly. Okay, we have, I can't handle the stress. Charges the moment of uh, civilization and fast conversation that didn't seem to have their own groundings. Um, if you're urged to call somebody names or lash out at somebody verbally, um, hold it back. Uh, honeymooners. It makes reference to the honeymooners a lot. Um, we have focus on a goal. Um, if you become greedy or if you you will fail, and uncertainty is the goal to the necessary that needs to become. Okay. So we have feel deep, love true. We have complete ruin, recovery, um, life in tatters. We have um, destruction. We have regeneration. We have time behind bars. We have... Um, Resistance to the inevitable end. 
We have bad choices made. We have lack of purpose. We have having options you did not want. We have diversions. We have experience. We have confusion. We have fearing you are going to choose wrong. We have confusion of place. We have go within and then go without or let go. Um, that's interesting. So, with everything, it seems like she always referred back to the honeymooners. Um, I think some of that experience really weighed down on her self-confidence as a person because it, it it's a lot of you know verbal harassment um for the entertainment of other people but I also feel like it also made it so then she was an icon but I don't think she liked the notoriety of that type of thing um and she probably wanted to change her aspirations as a career but at the time there was like a niche for women to come in as like the housewife and anything that happened they'd have to like doubt on their husband their family or whatever and it was just like that type of homemaker energy that they had to be cookie cuttered into you know and I think she wanted to do more acting that was more um controversial maybe for the time that she was um acting or whatever so and it and it made way for other things to happen and you, you know sometimes you get tight listed for certain roles and stuff like that and a lot of people don't like that a lot of people kind of try to get away from that type of um thing because they want to do more stuff that would um play with the range that they were working with or how they would react act and like become more relevant in the media and stuff like that so this is where i leave it this was like a mini death day reading um i think she had a lot of fun but a lot of times there there's a lot that would fall flat especially if you're on like a show like the honeymooners i would expect I expect that every woman kind of wants to have, like, the Marilyn Monroe type of career where you just go from one thing to the next to the next and kind of have, like, that well-rounded range of things you can do. Maybe not in the same way Marilyn Monroe did it, but around kind of, like, having your choice of what you wanted to do, basically, is what I'm trying to say. But, yeah, I think being tight-listed into one category is is not where anybody wants to be for any reason it's you know you kind of have to go in there with no expectation basically and just try your best I guess but uh, I was a director for some plays and I can tell you this actors always want to be taken seriously and they also want to be the funny one at the same time and it's like you can only be one of the one of the few there's only one lucky person that's going to be going through from a static character to, like, a funny character and then becoming, like, that character that everybody wants. And it's usually not the protagonist, per se. It's usually, like, one of the henchmen or it's, like, the the detective or something like that. And it's always, like last minute chance to get that part and it's like nobody wants that part at first and then they realize that it's a bigger part than what they thought so anyway hopefully this helps somebody especially with the with the alarms there's been a lot of alarms this week so i don't know if somebody's like having some health problems or whatever but yeah sirens just mean that there is more information that could help other people but I'm not gonna say it because some people get triggered by the death day readings for some reason but um, with with every person that passes there is a story behind it there's a story that they never told anybody 
there's a story that kind of would hit in the wrong fashion because a lot of people have what I like to call filters. They filter out the bad stuff and they try to keep the good stuff in there. With me, I'm more of like, whatever comes through, comes through. And I'll let you know about that. There's only been a couple instances where there was literal danger in my mind of this person's last moments. And that's been um, Robin Williams and Martin Luther King Jr. Okay, big difference in energy, but a lot of fear there. With her, she was eager to try new things, new roles. And I think Joyce or Rudolph really had a lot of fun with what she was doing. And for the time frame, she was really making a name for herself. All right. So I don't think she, you know, had too many regrets. I just think she wanted to do more things. All right. Anyway, this is where I leave you with this one. And hopefully you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next reading. All right. Bye.